Hello everybody, good morning. It's currently nine o'clock. We're here in the office and I have, I believe, 14 parcels to pick and pack. And now I've got to get onto this. Got a photo and list, photo and list, photo and list, photo and list. That's not for photo and listing. Photo and list. That's sold. So yeah, we got a lot to do today. Johnny's not in yet. Um, he should be in shortly, I presume. Um, not actually spoken to him whether he's coming in today or not, but I think so. Um, so he should be in soon. So yeah, I got 14 to do. So I'm just looking at my computer here at what we got. Um, we got a mixed bag really, but do we have anything massive? Yes, that croquet set that I just showed you there. Bought that about three days ago for eight pound at a charity shop. Sold for 50, so that's good. Um, and that's about it on the heavy side of things. So uh, let's get picking. I need to move this stuff off of here first because obviously that's gonna be in my way. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way for now. But yeah, since the last video, we've done a little bit of adjustment in here now. Um, as you can see, we have all of our bags and stuff here we actually found a contact i say contact it's someone that can get bags for us is that a contact i don't know i guess a bag contact uh but yeah he does them pretty cheap and he does all different sizes so we have them all laid out smaller sizes in there i've got some more padded bags coming pretty soon um and then we got our bubble wrap up here and the paper is stacked on there now which makes it a lot better i also brought across my um scales because they just fit better on her um in my opinion so yeah the last ones were johnny's ones which were fine um they're actually a little bit better than these to be honest but they were bigger and we had to move it back and forth all the time so yeah right that's my water i'll put that out of the way for now these are going to stay there because they're just a pain to move otherwise so yeah first thing to grab is actually on my rail for some reason someone told me i'd ruined a perfectly good rack look i'm sorry this is not ruined at all look this can come out and i can put the bar back on the front and it's a perfectly decent rack i still have all the wood for the thing so i don't know what he's on about people eh they just come up with nonsense when they watch a video and they don't know what they're talking about but yeah just thought i would address that that rack is in no way ruined um, it's fit for purpose, which is exactly what I made it for. So if it works, right, why, what's wrong with it? I don't understand. Anyway, moving on. Um, so that jacket, oh, sugar. Take that back. Well, we sold a trunky. Um, I don't really pick up trunkies anymore, but I think I got that for like four pound and it sold for 20, so why not? Uh, that jacket sold for 29 what do we want next h and how many of them three so three h in here so three of these keyboards here sold for 60 quid i believe hopefully if i'm doing my job properly i'll be editing all of the you know the prices and stuff on screen for you uh, yeah, 59.97 those three sold for. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing the hat, I just got in and it's cold outside. So my ears are red. So I'm warming them up. Right, uh, I need two olive oil socks. And these are in I. So having these uh, skews is very handy. So there you go, olive oil sock, olive oil sock. So these are collagen socks. I don't know i got like a thousand of them really cheap so yeah they don't sell for much three pound but because i got so many of them i don't really care they go in a padded mailer and um get sent out that way so in g we have a hat so that's in here okay that is not the hat i'm looking for that's not good is this the hat here that's because that's g and that's h i was looking in the wrong one and this hat's now dirty 
I only listed this not too long ago. I need to give that a little bit of a, not a wipe down, but I've got a, um, a lint roller. There's a bit of lint on there. Right, we sold that for 13. And I have a Joe Brown suit jacket, which I accepted an offer on for 30. So let me grab that real quick if I can find it. Make sure I'm still recording. It's the first time I've recorded in a while. So we're looking for the Joe Brown. That's not it. Should be around here. There we go. Joe Brown. The only problem is I can't get these hangers out at the moment because I decided to put some heavy stuff above it, which hinders that. So I need to fix that. But yeah, this suit jacket, 30 pound. Had it up for 40, but I'm not gonna lie. It was a slow day on that day, so I just accepted it. Um, I do that sometimes, you know, take a tenner off just to get the ball rolling. It seems to be once you get the first sale of the day on a slow day, some more rolling. So probably me just being superstitious, I took it. Um, right, Uno. Bought this for £8 the other day and it sold. Oh, tripping up on my stock here. This sold for 30 that sold the same day I listed it. So if you ever see that one, do you grab it. Right, River Island jacket, medium. I have two of these left. Why do I have one? I think that might be the last one. Oh, that is the last one, okay. Take that out. There we go. I bought these on the River Island sale last year. I think I bought like 10 of them and they were going for like five pound each maybe in River Island. And let me just unbutton this with one hand if I can do it, so I can take the hanger off. Okay, never mind. Let me just shimmy this out if I can. There we go, that's easier. Um, and I can't remember how much that sold for, maybe 25, 30. They've been going all over the place, really. 30, 30 pound, 58 pence. Right, that croquet set as well has got to go over there. I'm not going to move it for now. Right, I've sold a Darth Maul wall vase, which is actually up the top, up in there. You can probably see better than I can right now. I've got to try and grab one of them. Whoa. Don't ask why I put them up there. I don't know. But yeah, I got a load of these from a charity shop really cheap, like six months ago. And as they do, they sit there forever and ever. And you're wondering, are these ever going to sell? And then all of a sudden, one person buys one and then boom, they all start flying out. And it's like, why couldn't that have happened five months ago? Right, we've got a Woolovers. Oh, that sold for £10, by the way. Woolovers jumper on the rail again. So big up the rail, getting a lot of, um, lot of air time today. Got to find this jumper now. I hope it's on this rail. Is that it? I don't think so. No, that's the Manta Ray jacket. Okay. Hopefully it's in here, because if it's not, I'm in trouble. I can't actually see all. Oh, could this be it? No, that's Fat Face. Come on, where are you at? It's got to be here somewhere, otherwise I'm in trouble. Maybe, just maybe, it's not on the rail. Maybe it's in a bag somewhere. <sighs> okay. Yeah, there was a bug like a month ago. I don't know if anyone else experienced it where it like, it like quadrupled the amount of things I had in stock on some items for some reason. I have no, no idea why, but I had to rudimentally go through and see if, um, which ones I thought maybe were doubled up or whatever. Maybe I've already sold it and I just didn't catch that one. That would really suck, but it might be that I bagged it and then I just put it as it was down on the rail by accident. So it might be in one of these. That's a problem. Oh well, I'll have another look before I do the packing, but that is probably just a uh, lost cause, I would say. So that's annoying, but there we go. I wonder how that's happened. It definitely says rail on her. 
Oh well, it was only a £16 item at the end of the day, so it's not like I've lost too much. But yes, it is rather annoying. Right, C1, I've sold an Aria shirt. One of those new ones I got from the car boot a while back. Only recently got round to listing this because I've been busy with moving. Right, let me set the camera up here a second because I need to grab this tub down. And I've also got a jacket to get out of here. God damn, this tub is heavy. Right, let's have a look. Right, I believe it's this one, but I don't know if they're all the same size. So that's a large, that's a large. Hopefully it's a large. Um, let me go check. And then I have to come back and um, grab the other jacket. Cloud white sea jacket. Okay, let me just double check on my phone. Because I have loads of these different... Well, I don't have loads anymore, but I had a load of these and they're all different names and stuff. So, right. Ultra rare, blah, 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 blah. Sea jacket, cloud white large. Henry Lloyd. Okay, so that's that. Sick. And we've got one more thing that's got to go out today, and that is a Bible book. So let me just um, shove this back up here. Okay. Sweet. Let's grab you. Put you over there. And we got to go into the depths of storage now. M1 is right in there and it's a pain to get to but I only put things in there that I don't think are going to sell and for the longest time these didn't sell so it was a good plot for them and then they started selling so I should probably move them but for now they can stay where they are because I don't have time change it around so kind of annoying that I have these corners but it is storage space nonetheless right. Push you back. thank you I don't know what's going on at the moment with my storage but there we go okay so all the items have been picked as you can see ignore these Obviously, they are not to go out, so yeah, I'm just going to um, have a double check for that jumper and then I'll come back and we'll start we'll start packing it. It's a lot easier to pack in here now. Now I've got all of this to hand. Obviously, boxes are all sorted out now with dividers, so yeah, fantastic. I'll see you in a bit.
right, we just went down B and M to get some more boxes because our situation here with the poly mailers was pissing us off. They keep falling off, so we're gonna see if this works. This was Johnny's idea, so if it works, it's on him. If it doesn't, it's on him. It's ain't nothing to do with me. All right, let's see. So we'll see what he comes up with. We've got a long one for the big long ones, obviously. And then three, it's supposed to be three here. Is there one underneath there? Yeah, three of these ones. I presume without the lids, right? Without lids. Without the lids. So we just paid for lids we don't need. Probably keep the lid on this one, though. Mm. Label coming off, of course. Next got size. These ones which aren't going to fit in. Barely. And then what we're going to do with the next size up. And now these ones, it, case in point, they've all fallen on the floor. So these ones are the massive ones that I guess will fit in there. God, are you struggling there? Suction. Bosh. Don't go there. Are these the are these the mega big ones? Mm, no, those are like uh yeah, maybe, I can't remember. Oh, oh you've broken it. Didn't need the lids. Well why don't we move Yeah, it's gonna move these around. Well we got another hundred of these coming, so we have to have a pot for them. Will those fit in there? Yeah, probably. I'm not turning them lengthwise no, because then no, I can't get through. Yeah. That's not too bad, a little bit overhand. But yeah, but you know what's going to happen? With my legs, it. I'm going to go boom and they're all going to go everywhere three times per day. Do you want to buy some boxes? No, I've just spent half my daily profits. Now what are we going to do? The thing is, we have too many bags, or we use too many bags to be putting them in a drawer. And constantly taking them out. And constantly opening a drawer. It's just not feasible. That's at least better, like having... Yeah, but if, if we can stack three on top of each other... Yeah, I know what you mean. ...and we can write on them what they are, we can just pull them out from the side, and then when we need to refill them, we can just take the lid off. Possibly. We need to work out how to cut into the side, though. Possibly. You know what we need? Like a soldering iron and burn through it. Right, so this was what we came up with in the end. We simply cut holes in the end. And now we stack them. Small, medium, large, extra large, double XL, triple XL. Boom. Sorted. The lean-in tower of poly mailers. Nah, it's not lean-in really. And now we can just grab them out. See? Like that. And if we need to refill it, we can either stuff them in through the hole or on the top. So, yeah. There we are, just went to the chai shop, got some more stuff. The mahjong, probably not worth anything, three quid. And a little teapot of that, according to eBay, is going for like 60 quid. So, yeah, that's all. I think it looks better now, don't you think, than it did before? Yeah, it's going to take some getting used to, I reckon, but we'll see. Now we can just pull them out. It's going to be so much better than them falling off every single time. And getting mixed up. And getting mixed up. We have them organised. I know it's like an eyesore having a tower, but... Trialling error, I yeah. say. Trial and error. Yeah. The only thing is, we could, just to make it a little bit better, is uh -oh. fall over. Maybe, just maybe, put this one back down here. Just an idea. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, and then 
those ones where you can go here. Not so high. Not so high, and also then we can, if need be, put some something back there. Yeah, okay. That works. There we go, sorted. Hope you enjoyed the random video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And hopefully Car Boots, the good one, reopens next month, February, so Ooh, soon. Car boot video soon. Let's go. See you later.